Please welcome Hugh Jackman. Mr. Jackman. It's good to be back on the couch, man. Uh, that, that trailer, you must be filled with the movie. I, I'm a big comic book fan anyway, but uh, you must be delighted to be back in that world and yeah, have a I movie like it. that. Well, I love the character. I've, God, I've been playing for 10 years now, so, yeah. yeah really, as long it's, as it's lucky I like him. Well, he kind of put you on the map, really, didn't he? I mean, people knew yeah. of you, and you, but that, that was what made you a star with. Nobody knew of me, actually, when I got that gig. I was, it was my first job I ever got uh, outside Australia in film. So I kind of lucked out. I can't say I had a lot of other choices at the time, but uh, I actually, uh, even now, I think probably in terms of superheroes, he's one of the best. I might be biased. Yeah, well, he's the, popular for a reason, of course. Mm. Do you get recognised much, though, because you, you don't look like you look in the movie? I mean, it's the same person, but... Don't, you know, I, sometimes I've been in the street with people who've had to argue over whether I'm the guy or not. I've seen them arguing in front of me. I've had to show my licence to prove who I am. <laughs> and this woman the other day, I was in Moscow promoting the movie, and this woman came in delivering my breakfast. Excuse me, Mr. Jackman, very excited for me. I must not uh, talk to you, I know, but... Uh, Hugh, you might... can I just ask you never to play a Russian woman in a yes. movie? <laughs> um, good for, you. for your sake, as much as everyone else's. <laughs> just like saying, very, that's all. Very, no, very good. Anyways, you are my favourite actor for me. Your movies, my favourite movie, uh, My Best Friend's Wedding, for me, is incredible. <laughs> uh, and uh, you are... Um, it's a great movie, I'm not in... No, please. <laughs> You are in it. I've seen it 100 times. <laughs> she went on and on, and then finally I convinced her, and she said, oh, yes, I know, X movie. I said, yes, X-Men. No, no, triple X for you. Uh, it's <laughs> not that triple X. <laughs> uh, the Vin Diesel one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, now, playing the part, uh, something like that, it's an exciting thing. For someone like me, a comic book fan, it would be like a dream, you know, to be part yeah. of that kind of thing. You're not a comic book fan before these, these, these movies came along, were you? No, I had no idea about the comic book. Now I know a lot about the comic book. Yeah, you've uh, yeah. immersed yourself in it. And, and uh, with the fans, yes. And what are the fans like with you? Because they're quite possessive of the characters, aren't the they? Fan, they're very possessive and they're very vocal. I, I mean, going to Comic-Con last year. You've been to Comic-Con Well, Comic-Con Comic is the big event every year at San Diego where it's not just comics, it's, it's kind of all kind of popular culture media, media yeah. stuff. And, and all the fans gather, and they're, they're kind of nuts for... There's six or 7,000 people just going mental. When we showed the, the clip of this, and we had Gambit and some of the other characters, and that, that, yeah. I mean, that just went crazy. And it's always a little odd to look down and see a hundred people who look exactly like you. They're all wearing the gear. With homemade claws and, and the chops. There's, and the whole there's thing. one of the guys who was there. That's, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, and now, hold on. Don't laugh at him because he might be watching. I think we need to encourage him. They, no, oh, laugh, laugh at that one. Fine, laugh at that one. <laughs> Please don't. I like that guy. Because he will kill but me. But that guy, look, he's covering himself in blood as well. That must be quite. That's Wolverine after he's killed people. And there was like a hundred guys like that all posing down in front I've of him. I've made. I've got some. What, you want to pose yeah, down? Yeah, because, no, I don't, well, we could pose down, but I made myself, because it's quite expensive, the special effects in your movie is pretty expensive. I've made yep. myself a little cheap Wolverine outfit that you could sing together at home. <laughs> Close your eyes for me. Okay. Close your eyes. I don't, I don't want to spoil the fun. Shh, don't tell him what I'm doing. <laughs> this is really good. It's quite intense. Are you putting on the whole outfit? No, man. <laughs> the yellow tights on and everything. Check it out, Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Good. Adamantium. <laughs> I like the way you've kept the wrapper on that one. That's perfect. This well, is great. You want to sell those to take up? This Next is great movie, wear I... these. Uh, you could get away with it. It's, it's good, a quick shot. Because I have stabbed more actors in the making of this movie, including myself. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's intense. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I think yeah. when, we, wearing those, I make a better Wolverine. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's I like the wrapper on that one. This is very good. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Yeah. Thank you, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a shot of a fight scene with you with uh, Liv Schreiber. A great actor. He's, He's terrific. The best. Interview. But He's those stuck. fight scenes, they're pretty intense. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming you did most of that yourself. Yeah, we did it all. I mean, and Liv's got a little competitive streak in him, and, uh, and he's a big, strong boy. He's so, a muscular yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, he took me out a few times. Do, are you wearing prongs or whatever, the yes. schnicked on the hand, or yes. is that blue screen stuff afterwards? Sometimes. You know, obviously, they're coming in and out. Uh, I mean, I have them in there, but they're a little faulty sometimes. Yes. So we all sometimes. So you have them on like a sleevey thing? Uh, no, they're inside my arm. No, I know in there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, no, actually, in X-Men 1, here's a little tidbit for you. The very first time they come out, it is from a fake arm. Ah, you're that was them. built. 
for me. And in fact, I had to act the entire scene with one arm behind my back while four guys were holding a fake arm. And that scene where I'm holding the guy up against the bar is actually a, a fake arm with the, with the whole thing that came out. I don't know what it cost. We used it one shot and never again. Where's that gone now? Who's got that? I don't know. Someone but, nicked but it. You can't do a whole movie walking around like that. Walking around like that. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, and we apparently know when it was, it was a lot better. Yeah. But if you, walked in, if you walked in the next day like that, well, I know what hand it's coming out of. <laughs> This is what I should have had. This um, is good. But, but do you get... Yeah, no, do, are they sharp, the things? Because yeah, they're, they're pretty pointy. The very first film, we had real metal claws. And uh, the girl who played um, Mystique, Rebecca Romain, her double and I were doing a fight sequence, and there's a bit with her hand... That's what, inside the I Statue of Liberty? Oh, no, that's the number two. Yes, down the bottom of the Statue of Liberty in one. And I went to stab her in the arm, which is part of the choreography. And she's meant to move her arm away. She forgot. And the thing went right into her arm. I mean, like an inch... Of course, I was just, I was stunned. I mean, it's been a long time since I've stabbed someone, you know. <laughs> and it was one of those things where it's so deep, there was no blood coming oh. out. There was this hole, and then about a minute later, it was like a geyser. Oh, did you faint? And I didn't faint, and I thought she was going to freak out. And the girl goes, yes, I've been stabbed by Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Typical stunt woman. Uh, what are, now, yes. the, what are you, how old are your kids? Can I ask you, Hugh? Yes, eight and three. You can what, ask me. Yeah. Lovely ages. What oh, lovely the ages. best. Eight and three. Uh, and presumably they must love the fact that Daddy's Wolverine. That must be an exciting world for them to see you in. Yeah, they kind I mean, of love it. The great thing about being an actor in something like this is all the merchandise you get, and in particular... <laughs> in particular... If you want okay, to take those sorry. off, take those off. <laughs> well, do you want these? <laughs> no, I'll have them. <laughs> you can have them. <laughs> and later on, wassy.ebay. Check it out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there is a blow-up punching bag with my face on it, right? Now this is like the Wolverine. Yeah, bag. you know those things we have as a kid, yeah, punching yeah. and it comes back up. And so I thought, this is perfect. I blew it up. I put it into my son's room. It was about six at the time. And every time I send him to, a room, to his room, I hear him wailing on this thing. <laughs> punching. And I think that's perfect. Everyone should have a blow-up punching bag of their, of their dad. Not their mum. No. Just their dad. Anyway. But, uh, but uh, you know, I know how exciting it is because uh, I was flying back from, uh, I think it was New York, and I bumped into you at an airport. And yes. I had my little boy with me, and we had a little chat, and afterwards he looked at me, and, I could, he, and he went to me, Dad, so he said, it was Wolverine. <laughs> went, yeah. And you could see, immediately, I was 100% cooler, just oh, for having known you. That's the least and I can do. Yeah, yeah. Actually, my boy doesn't talk to me about it. About, about, Wolverine. about Wolverine? No, Oscar doesn't talk to me much, but he's very kind of quiet, but I overheard him talking to a these 14-year-old girls, he's only eight, yeah. he walks over to these girls and he goes, hey, you know my dad it is uh, Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> and I can hear him. And uh, I'm sort of looking and he looks over at me and, and he's, he's pointing, he goes, yeah, the guy over there. <laughs> he's looking at the girl and he comes over and he goes, dad, they're hot chicks, aren't they? <laughs> I said, they're 14, I cannot be commenting on them. That's Thank fabulous. You. They're very lovely girls. I've yeah. been out with my kids and I've heard him denying he knows anything about <laughs> me. <really. laughs> I'm sure that's coming. That's not my dad, honestly. You know, he's just he's kidnapped me. Call help now. Um, OK, no, I saw you do the Oscars, and that must have been a terrible thing. And you did a fabulous job. Thank you, mate. I imagine the pressure building up to that, the weeks before that, must have been pretty intense. My favourite moment of the Oscars is uh, about a minute before, there was this guy called Valdez, stage manager. He's been doing it for 20 years. He's like, yo, Mr Jacqueline, come on, two minutes. A minute and a half, a minute, 30 seconds, and right at 30 seconds, I'm looking out, I see Meryl Streep and Brad, and, and I feel the first little wave of flood. He goes, yo, it's a jack. And I turn around, he goes, give me five like this. And he goes, you're about to host the Oscars, dude. There's a billion people watching. Good luck, you're on. <laughs> And if you see the tape of me, I actually laugh as I went out. It was the best thing I could have heard. But uh, what a, I, I, I watched the opening thing, and it's so uh, tricky a job to get it away. You came up with some great jobs, and then you went to that big song and dance number. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know how many people saw it here. It was very funny. That, that, that's part from the beginning. There, you singing, you go, Anne Hathaway, the beautiful Anne Hathaway, out of the audience, she sings yes. with you. How and believe it or not, she? there they're doing the movie Frost Nixon yes. in that <laughs> scene. So it was a very funny scene. And then you went into the very funny routine based on the movie The Reader. Yes. Which was just cracked me up. It was and hilarious. Me too. <laughs> and, the, and I got the feeling that was when you relaxed. It looked to me like you really relaxed when you got into that part. There was a moment during that where I thought I was going to crack up. I don't know. The, <laughs> the guys, I, these fantastic guys helped me write it, and I always found it funny. So you sing there, you sing for these guys, and yep. you sang with Beyonce later on. It's a tough gig, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. That woman is so incredibly talented, so incredibly nice, and... Uh, yeah, it'd be worth doing all over again just for that. Well, that's what I'm going to ask you. Are you going to do it again next year? Because I know that they, had a, they were worried about who was going to do it and whether they could get it right, and they've tried a few hosts that didn't quite work for them. This year, I know you did it. Everyone seemed to think you did a great job. 
the, the rating, the viewing figures went up this year. So yep. I'm, I'm assuming they'll ask you again. Are you going to say well, They yes? haven't asked, so I, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure there are other... In fact, I know there are other people who are asked before me, so they might go back. Who knows? No, they'll ask you again. But if they do ask... But can I just tell you, the great thing about hosting the Oscars... Now, you host these shows, the BAFTAs, and you yes. do all this sort of stuff. Very, very well. Very well. Very <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about doing the Oscars, and they, and they tell you at the first production meeting, is whoever you've ever wanted to call and ask for help, if you want Scorsese or Spielberg, you call them and say, I'm hosting the Oscars, you can give me a hand, they'll do it. And uh, my producing partner, John Palermo, said to me, he goes, man, you're a huge Ricky Gervais fan, so ring him up. I said, I can't, I've never met the guy. I'm just a fan like anybody. So I rang him up, right? And how great was this guy? For about half an hour, he's telling me the most brilliant jokes, half of which are too rude for me to tell, oh, well, I was gonna say, even you, at home, let alone on the Oscars. Most of his stuff you can't use on... No, uh, yeah, and the yeah. other half was so brilliant. When I tried to tell him, like I go to the meetings, I go, I've got this great joke, and they're all like... No, it'd be funny if Ricky did it, but not you. So he was, anyway, he, he was unbelievable. Did he, I rang him he three or four times. He didn't choreograph a dance for you, anything like that? Didn't help him that way? The dancing he didn't help me with. Uh, uh, he uh, offered uh, that, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, oh man, I, uh, he's a prince, that guy. I'll never forget it. Now, Hugh was recently in a big epic movie, uh, Australia, which I haven't seen yet. I've got it because I'm going to enjoy it on Blu-ray because I know it's a beautiful looking movie. Great. Um, nice. But a big epic. It's yeah. a sporting epic and it's we a... We shot it for place. almost a year uh, and it was one of the great years of my life. I'll never forget it. It was fantastic. I, I mean, we were in the middle of nowhere on a property the size of Belgium, and I was living out on the property. So my son came out and lived with me for seven weeks. The, the, I mean, the poor kid is never going to want to go to school again. <laughs> I mean, he was up, he did about an hour of classes, yeah. and then went out with the, all the other Aboriginal kids that were there. And, and was this one of those parts, grubs and was this one of those parts where it's, it's improbably hot in Australia? You very hot. Place. So it was too hot or it was tolerable? At times it was too hot. I did faint on the first day, but not a great thing as a leading man. Wow. It's not the coolest thing so when you're out there with the real... how hot does it have to be, then, to get... Well, it was about... Time. I remember that day was about 56 degrees. Yeah. But that's a ridiculous <laughs> amount of uh, heat to have anywhere. It was, and I was being a little bit... Uh, a bit blase, I, a bit cool. I was being a bit of bravado. They said, come, come on, will you have the... Put the umbrella over your head. I said, I can't put the umbrella over my head. Come on, I'm here on the horse, and how long will we be? Five minutes. Well, an hour later, I felt this hand in my back... And I was like, mate, I'm all right. And he goes, no, you're not. You're at a 45-degree angle to the horse. And the guy's like holding me like this. I'm like, OK, maybe I'm not all right. So That's scary, though, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you are, I mean, you're about as fit as you can be in that movie in Wolverine. I, I don't know if anyone's seen Hugh Jackman's chest recently, uh, but it's the size of two or three people's chests. <laughs> when he comes through customs, anything to declare, he says, yes, I have the chest of several men under <laughs> There's a lot of chess going on there. Uh, fake, what fake, sort of fake. workout regime for, say, for example, Wolverine? Because you obviously are going to be showing off your body in that quite yes. a lot. Well, and there, you, are, there are nude scenes in that as well, aren't there? There's a couple of nude scenes. In fact, uh, when we finally edited the movie, the director gave me my bits in, in a box. But the bits, yeah, because on the odd shot, I wasn't 100% aware of the camera angle and turned places I shouldn't turn for a PG-13 movie. And so he went in and literally cut out the film oh. with my bits in them and put them in a bag and gave them to me. That's my rap kids. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, I knew that's what happened when you got married, but uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me ask you about uh, being in Australia. You're making the movie Australia, out there in the outbreak. Can I just, uh, you know, when you're out there, I don't know if you've uh, ever played any of the, uh, the native instruments, the, uh, mm -hmm. the music that goes back in the roots of um, Australian history. Yes. For example, we over here are familiar with Rolf Harris and his wobble board. Yes. Uh, wobble but he also occasionally whips out his didgeridoo, and I wonder <laughs> if you've ever tried to play one of those things, because we have one here. Yeah, I've had a bit of a muck around with yeah, one. It's a, oh, I got it's one a, of them Well, if home. you get the same one, you have to do this thing called circular breathing. <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't know if anyone's... Uh, would you give it a go first? I'll give it a go. It's sure quite hard. Okay, sure give it a go. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Hugh Jackman attempting the didgeridoo for us here. Uh, before you start... Yes, mate. Um, <laughs> uh, I will point out... I Do have, I smoke? I have, <laughs> I have practised and I'm pretty good at the didgeridoo, so I'm going to have a go afterwards. Really? So two things. One is, prepare to get blown away. Okay. Two is, don't spit all over me end. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time I've had to say that to Hugh Jackman. Hi, Mum. How you doing? Right. <laughs> Give it a go. It's been a while. Get it? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incredible.
There's a little okay. bit in there, but I, won't be as, I don't think I'll be as good as that. I'm going to yep. try more for a more Englishy version. OK, all right. I use a stand for my... Uh... <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Yeah, what do you think about that? That's incredible. I've never it's... heard that sound come out of a didgeridoo. That's really amazing. Uh, Hugh, well, well uh, done. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, I'm exhausted now. Yeah, it is oh, time to circular get down breathing, the gym, don't I? Um, <laughs> hey, how lovely to have you here. Congratulations Thank on you, Wolverine. Mate. I'm a comic book fan. I judge those things harshly. I loved it. Right. Um, we have some other comic book fans in this evening, don't we? What do you think of the movie, guys? Let me say with Mr. Hugh Jackman. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you, Jackman.